Okay, so the goal of today will be to come up with in the synthesize so some kind of a, like a dangerous gangster riff. Something which uh, would allow some kind of MC talent to give it like vocal power. Well, I'm thinking of something like the like typical gangster thing that has a kind of usual kind of dangerous gangster kind of rah, rah, rah sort of thing and then a chorus. So it's really simple but in so doing I'm going to demonstrate how the instrument's vocal input will take the sound and channel it through and allow you to treat it as if it wasn't like a mixing any any mixing studio. So with this kit you can basically this one thing you can you can use it as if you had like a big studio production capability at your hands not to obviously the same high quality standard but like they have separate microphone inputs and they have a mixing desk and they have a booth and they record together the production the, the singer and the, the, the musical backbone all tying together they, they press go and they start to record that's how they work this has got the same sort of thing but in a sort of a simplified way but nevertheless it it's, depends on you how far you want to take it for example I've just got like a diaphragm microphone which is like a, a computer microphone I'm not sure how it was dynamic it's got dynamic microphone this one this one which I just put in Macling which has got the quarter inch jack that, that will plug into one of the inputs of the, the Bitech and that's, that's, that's got basically no real quality but it, it doesn't matter because it, it, it does have a switch it allows you to switch it on and off uh, and it does capture the voice so it, it will show that it works now what, what I did have before was a bit more I did buy it that's much better than this a proper condenser mic they use professionally and you would then have uh, some kind of mixer that, that, that will send a phantom voltage to that microphone and also route the input back to uh, eventually to quarter inch so you could have they used to got like the microphone you know the microphone XLR cable and it would have an XLR output and it, or it could just be a simple mixer even it could, it could be an audio interface audio interface that's right on a Macintosh it's an audio interface or on a, on a Windows it's audio interface and they you know they'll take the input of these XLR things out of the very expensive microphone put it through into like a mixer that it's got internally and then output it from another XLR cable into a quarter inch and that will go into the back of the motif and the input in the audio input section and that will be able to then be used by the motif as part of the sound of the instrument so whatever whatever thing you've got going on you might um, have a pattern recorded and that's what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a pattern recorded which is a, that simple kind of pattern, sort of like a, a dangerous gangster kind of riff and then then something like a chorus and in that dangerous gangster riff the, 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 the MC will, will do some kind of quality vocals maybe you could you know you could have lyrics that will actually you know be read from start to end and each you know each each kind of measure will will be like another part of the lyrics so you can have this all written down i could i could work like that i could i could i could, I could write now next you know uh, i could do some lyrics that, that makes it sound like i'm really like a dangerous gangster and then just read them off and with a simple pattern that's just going to be like the dangerous gangster bit and then a chorus and then just plug this in, and or which could be a, a potentially much better thing than this. And then just literally read the lyrics as, as if I was that gangster. And it, 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 the emotive will take all that input and make it part of the instrument. So when I actually go to record, um, which I can do of course with the with the file um, with the file button, I can then file and then audio record. And so, so I can record my production, the sound of the instrument. I can literally play the pattern from then. Or play the pattern chain and then literally record those pattern sections which will be the dangerous gangster bit and the chorus dangerous gangster bit which will with me singing over it reading out of it and then going for the um, um you know go, going for the crew of the song and while this this is going on it's, the motif is recording to the usb key so it will take it straight in from the microphone as clean as it can convert it to audio and digitally in, in, in its own system and then write it out straight out 
as part of as part of the sound, part of the part of the pattern, because it will mix it. It's got to get a, its own kind of mixer that will take that audio input along with the, the synthesizer sounds and literally combine them together and write them out as a sound. Okay, so what I've done now is I've built my pattern, and I've also got some lyrics to it just to show how it's done. The pattern is a simple thing. I'll show you the pattern. There's a section A in the pattern. There's three instruments in the section A. And the section A basically repeats itself twice. And it's split in the middle by section B. So it's really simple. Half one is section A. It's 32 bars long. And half B. And it's also section A, 32 bars long. And it's split in the middle by, se by section B, which is like a, a chorus bit. And that bit is just kind of nothing really. That, that's... Um, Section A, like a typical gangster kind of rolling, I'm dangerous gangster sort of sound. It's got like a, a rolling kind of sound. I, I put some lyrics on for this. So I, I've actually made some lyrics for, for what this section is. That's measure one, measure two, measure three, measure four. So I'm literally just going to go down this list. I made up some lyrics off the top of my head. And that's going to be se uh, measure A, measure nine, measure ten, so on. And right, that's about halfway through section A. And then literally around there is, is the chorusy bit Oops, can't see it, where it divides and then literally it's just the, the, the final half as it split so these lyrics are the same basically it's split into the same thing simple microphone it's not very it's just a, um, a dynamic mic as you get for for computers but this could be much better it doesn't matter that it's not very got the uh, microphone plugged into the audio input part on the right hand side because it's only a mono microphone it's switched off at the moment the important thing is to realize, let me just put it down there a second, be safe a sec. The important thing to realize is that with, with the with the microphone, because it's because it is a microphone, you need to tell the synthesizer that it's a microphone, so you've got to go to the utility section. And in there there's an IO tab. And here you've got to set mic input as mic line. You've got to set that because otherwise you won't hear anything. If I say if I if I set it to line, then then you won't hardly hear. It's just too quiet because it's very quiet. The sound so it needs to be amplified. But that's why that's why it's useful to have a condenser mic because you don't have to bother with stuff like that. It's good enough for for the instrument to just take it. But with this kind of microphone, it's not very strong it's just it's just a weak dynamic microphone so that's where the condenser microphone gives you that much more quality because it's got a much fuller sound it's much more powerful and it's actually energized at the microphone end and it really drives the signal through which is what not this is not doing it's just passing a very weak signal through and it's got to be amplified here and it's not as good quality but you know you can buy that if you want you know you can buy a condenser mic with a mixer and plug that into the audio input and feed that into the sensor. So the better you feed it, the more powerful the signal you feed it, the more it will have to go on. At the moment, it's got very little to go on, and you're just giving it a tiny signal, and it's got to treat it like a very weak signal that has to be amplified, and then it will work. But that's pretty much it. There's um, it, uh, it's it's a mono microphone, so it doesn't really matter about the stereo. You don't have to really have to worry about it as long as you've got set it to stereo, uh, which um, uh, I think. Uh, if I go, I can confirm it with integrated sampling. And uh, if I'm going to go to the record tab, then there is a, a setting here for whether this is mono stereo. I've just got it set to stereo, it doesn't make any difference. It will just ignore one of them. It's not really a big deal. That's just set to stereo, so any, any input will be set to stereo. And for my pattern's sake, I've got to then go into the mixing. And then obviously there's a tab for the audio input part of the synthesizer. Which which I can set individually to have reverb or chorus as well, so that that can also have effects added to it, which is which is another very good thing because that means I can put different effects to my voice. So let, let's just try, for example, giving some uh, some reverb to my voice to see if it makes it sound interesting or not. I'm going to switch the microphone on. Okay, so you go la. Okay, that's pretty my voice quite boring sounding. I wanted to read the the, 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 the lyrics out and sound a bit more interesting than that. I mean I could actually add effects on it. You know, like proper reverb chorus insert switch. I can 
I can I can try. Yeah, I can actually put. Um, chor oh, okay, I can, I can I can make some chorus effects. I mess around with the chorus and the reverb of it quite a lot. I've got all these settings, which kind of are specific to microphone more or less, really, aren't they? The reverb types. You know, I can have these kind of sounds trying to la. Yeah, it gives gives like a like a sound sort of. I'm in a hole, blah blah blah. I'm in a reverb room. I'm in a raw three room. So I'm I'm trying all the different try spacing with it. Oh, no, no. You know, it gives it like a like a deeper sound than it has normally. La la la. So I can I can mess around with the different characteristics of it quite a lot. Reverb effects or now that's quite interesting. Chorus as well. Audio. Oh yeah, look, it does actually let me insert individual effects for this as well. Kind of, kind of. Yeah, I can. I think I can put in the insert A. Yeah, I can. I can insert A, insert B. I think. Yeah, I can put some of the insert A and insert B. Which at the moment I've got, I've got it inserted as temp delay mono, whatever that means. Which. Um, that's my insertion, I, I think that is. It might even be separate, I don't know. Let's see. If I go out to, if I go out to the effect, um, my voice edit, no, which one is it? I can never get this one. Effect, this audio in, effect. One day I'll figure this one out. One day. I think from here, okay, I keep, I keep getting this path and it's usually coming out wrong. I think it is voice edit and without and within that I have to find effect wherever that is. Okay, I'm gonna try this one again. Voice edit. Maybe it's effect in here. One day before I die, I should hopefully work out where that type is. Um, hopefully. What do you effect? Well, the effect is obviously for that one, it's, it's good enough. Because that's just a simple one. Why oh, say that again? So, use some effect. Connect. This one, I said it. Well, it looks like, um, well, okay, so it needs to be switched on, I think. So it's voice edit, it's on the voice edit, but what it needs to happen, I need to be on this channel that I've got the set the defects. So let, let me try what was A, I know I inserted A. today. If I now go with voice edit, the effect tab should appear because I've got, I think that disappears depending on that, that, that thing disappears. That's why I can get. Keep getting it confused. That thing disappears if you've got no effects switched on. So now I can have the effects and testing. So you can see that this these are the effects I set before. Talking modulator and G chorus. I mean I actually set. Um, yeah, and I think I set something like that. Talking modulator. That that's that's the effects I set before. I left them they're different to these other insertion effects that I'm gonna have. Talking modulator, G chorus, I just left those as is. You notice know, these are different to the ones I've set for the audio part, which if I go to the effects for this one, so this is set to G chorus and an insert switch, reverb chorus connect. Mm, okay. Audio in. See it, it it's a different one, it's it's a temp delay mono, it's not it's not that talking phone, that, that, that phone thing, it's something else. So this actually lets me set a different effect for my voice as well. 
which is set set individually so which which is quite good isn't it I mean I could make my voice all kinds of different things here with this I can't see a lot of difference to be honest British lead hospital stereo you know, I can't see a lot of difference talking talking modulation maybe I haven't yet done it come on isolate connect AD goes to insertion A and then B it sounds about the same doesn't it Does anything change? What if I do anything here? Blah 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 blah. It doesn't think like anything's going through an effect. Let's try through modulation. The talking house. Oh. No, I don't think that's going through. There might be a reason why it's not going through though. Insert noise C, thanks to song. Insert A. But anyway, you can see that uh, it is different from the voice edit effect, which is uh, at the moment it's, set, it's talking modulated. It's, it's a different effect. I just haven't figured it out to actually. Maybe, perhaps it's maybe because I haven't switched it on yet. That's why. I need to have it switched on. Now, now I've got that effect switched on for my voice, haven't I? Now it's getting quite effective. You see, it does actually have a separate effect yet again for the audio part. So it's, that's how powerful this this amazing thing size is. I can set that to a different filter now. Wow, wow. So I've got the the reverb, the whole thing, and I've also got like a lo-fi or a noisy thing. digital turntable thing, ring modulator. Dynamic rhythm modulator, dynamic filter, audio sound, isolator. That's quite, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, it makes you sound like a, a control god, doesn't it? So, I got that one. I'm going to read, I'm going to read this, this amazing script. Oh, that's nice, nice, I like it. So, the Visium Harmonic Talking Modulator. That's quite good. Sorry about that. Okay, what we need to do here is because it's kind of capping out is we need to go back to the mixer and go down with that setting so it's not so high volume so now I can switch it back on and it won't feed back hopefully now so much. Yeah, that's it. So just, just literally, just like you would do in a real, this is not really high tech for microphone or anything but you know, you can, you can hear the voice isn't really, really, really high quality. If this was a condenser microphone with a, with a mixer and that was a good signal going in there that you'd notice a big difference in how good the quality was believe me but, but this is a cheap microphone this this is not this is not anything good so it's, it's just it's, you know it's just a dynamic pc kind of microphone skype kind of microphone if you had like a condenser mic with a proper preamplifier with like proper phantom voltage with proper mixing going to full nice you know, the better the signal you give the, the more the more this sounds good Basically, this sounds like quite, but it doesn't matter because that, that, that's, that's all part of the game, isn't it? So what I'm going to now do is, um, hang on for a second, I'm going to record the song with the pattern, reading it off here onto the USB key. So I'm going to I'm going to go for these lyrics with that with that preset and basically do the gangster song recorded to my USB stick. Okay, so here we are, I've got the pattern set up. So it's a pattern chain, section A, 32, and then eight twice, section B, and then another 32, and this corresponds to these lyrics, what I'm gonna read out here with a microphone, them I in mean, to the microphone. To see how easy this can be, I've just made up some lyrics that sit up. That's part, half one of section A, that's half two of section A. Then you've got second sec second like B play, 
and it's going to be half one again, like a typical kind of gags or so. So let's, let's kick it off. I'm going to start the recording. I've got my USB set up, so everything's going to record. Start recording. Microphone on. On the selector. I'm on the belter. I'm set a better. I'm let a getter. I'm at the sea. I got the beat. I need to beat. I'm gonna beat. I knew I'd gone. I bet I'd gone. I knew I'd done it. I bet I'd not. I'm good at running. I got the running. I get the beat. I seal the beat. I'll go get it. I do a get. I really got it. I better got it. I should have to know. I do it now. I got it there. I knew it there. I really get it. I know I get it. I better feel. I got it deep. I feel it now. Got it now. See it now. Sooner. Got in there better. Really got it. Started going. Mean to get it. Do the better. Really show it. Okay, that kind of capped out a bit early, but I think you can get the idea of what is going at, can't you? I think I stopped the song a bit earlier there for, for the pattern chain, but something isn't it and it shows how easy I just had to mess around with it a bit obviously the lyrics that kind of thing but you can see can't you I hope you can see um, it's all to do with the chain and you know that that bit went wrong but this, this is it a bit cheap the lyrics are a bit poor but the same formula could provisionally improve 